Welcome to the Transformations Podcast. Here, guests and I will share our transformative experiences and we'll explore how to find excellence in life. Hendrik Santo, welcome back to the podcast. How have you been? Thank you, sir. Looking forward for this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Today, our focus is going to be different, though, if you don't mind. Last time we talked about like Buddhism and Qigong, martial arts, things like that. Today, I would really like to focus in on Wing Chun. And because the, the, the podcast is about transformations, I would like to talk about Wing Chun in terms of how it was in 1800s, how it transformed to the Hong Kong Yip Man era, how it transformed to today where it is and how it needs to transform to kind of stay into existence because I've watched 300 of your 2000 videos online and it seems like Wing Chun's in trouble. Okay, uh, Mark, you know, thank you to give me an opportunity to, to, to share with you here. And first of all, I like to tell all our friends the notions of today's sharing is to present to everybody what is by evidence exists in the <clears throat> history of China. Okay? So this is about we know the issue and we know how to solve it and we can move forward. So everybody will be prosper after knowing those informations. Okay? Now let's talk about the, the transformations. Okay? I am just plain lucky to know the information which is I'm going to share with you because this is what heaven gave it to me or Buddha gave it to me. So I want to open up to share it with you for what in, happened since 1977. I am actually the one which is the last one, the mission impossible one to know this data. <laughs> Why? I was born in Indonesia. Right. My name is Hendrik Santo because at that time we are not supposed to study Chinese and not even supposed to use my name, the Chinese name. Now, how the hell is that get from that not supposed to study and have to use my own Chinese name, not supposed to use my own Chinese name? Until today that I read all that scripture of the ancient. Well, I don't know, sir. Honest to the entire world, I have no idea why is information keeping coming up, keeping coming up, like leading me to, to see all this thing. That's why I'm here today to share with you. The agenda is I study all this, I share with you. I am not some kind of grandmaster or the oldest or the most authentic. I just share with you what heaven gave it to me. Okay. So hopefully it will help you. Disregard what lineage you are, who you are, what style you are in Kung Fu. I like to share this with you. Okay, number one is the, the ancient Chinese thinking, the Yi Jing type of thinking is about change, right? Right. Change means nothing is fixed. Right. But then it is always fixed. So what do we mean, Hendrik? Nothing fixed, but it's always fixed. So if you if we go study the Zen Buddhism, the real Zen Buddhism, mm -hmm. the Sutta, the Sutta there's a, a Diamond Sutra. Inside there, the Buddha said, the Buddha named it as world. It is not world. Thus, the Buddha named it as world. Well, this is the Chinese or the the the, the ancient. Uh, Eastern way of, uh, of presentation or mindset. So what does that mean? It means the world in the past and the world today is changing. So you can make fun of it like the Buddha said Hendrik. It is not Hendrik. First right. the Buddha called it Hendrik. Okay? Why am I uh, uh, sharing this with you? Because the logic is not A or B. Either you are the grandmaster or you are fake. So, so here I like our brother and sister of the entire Wing Chun. Here, Hendrik never said anybody is fake or anything. I'm going to share with you why is all this happened. Because Wing Chun 
Buddha say Wing Chun, it is not Wing Chun, thus it is called Wing Chun. Okay? We don't need a fight or argue. We want to find a solution and everybody is appreciate. Okay? Now. So, so before you go, go on, just so our listeners know, the premise of what we're talking about is that in today's society, 2023, Wing Chun's getting its butt kicked with even mid-level MMA guys and other competitors. And then other martial arts are as well. What I hear you saying is it's not about the lineage or the art or your master. It's that everything is stuck in the past. And if we look backward, we can see forward and where things kind of transformed off the wrong, off the rails a little bit. Yeah, exactly. And if you look at like in the history of China, yeah. The Chinese, that Ming Dynasty is belong to the Chinese, but they lost their country they did. In, for the Manchurian. And then yeah, they the get it back today, right? Mm -hmm. So China is not China. That's why it's called China. <laughs> when a caterpillar turns into a butterfly, the butterfly is no longer living in the caterpillar world. Am I right? Correct. It's transformed into something different. Exactly. That's why this, this program, this podcast called Transformation, right? Now let's talk about this transformation. That's why I said Wing Chun is not Wing Chun. That's it is Wing Chun. That's Buddha said, right? Now, however, a caterpillar will not transform into a bird. It will transform into a butterfly. Right. Thus, like the, in the Yi Jing, it is changing, but it is not changing to something out of the blue or, or something else which cannot be traced, okay? What I'm sharing with you, every word can be, I have the evidence can show you, okay? And uh, some of that uh, today, I'm going to ask uh, Mark to grant me so that I can show you a picture. Science is science, uh, history is history. In the past, nobody can change it. Pay attention to the future. The future, everybody have a freedom to change it. Let me start with you with a story, not a story, an incident. So 2017, I was invited to Fatsan to meet the leader of the Canton martial art seafoods, all this uh, from, from the different style. So we have a day of meeting and uh, we talk about how to approach like uh, the, 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 the facing MMAs today's uh, evolutions and so forth. And that is about six months or four months before Xi Xiaodong uh, fight Ding Hao, right? So after one day of the meeting, then we make friends. I'm always there to learn. That's why I never like people call me Sifu because I'm, I'm learning from everybody, okay? I met uh, our friend in like Choi Lei Fat, Long Yang, Bak Mei, Hunga, all those, the leader in Fat San, also, the, the researcher of the Chinese history, who is also uh, working with, uh, with, with governments, okay? Now, this is why I come at night, back to hotel, sit down and drink tea. This is about 12 o'clock at night. So, one of those uh, senior asked me this, Hendrik, tomorrow are you going to Yip Man Tong? And then he continued to say, what do you think Wing Chun contribute to Canton or the people of Canton? I did not suspect anything. I just said, no, tomorrow I'm not going to Yip Man Kong. I'm going to the Fine Jet Association, King Fa Wei Gun. And uh, he asked me, so why? I said, King Fa Wei Gun, the Fine Jet Associations, is the home of the Wing Chun ancestor, isn't it? Our ancestor, since you asked about what is the, uh, the, the, the Wing Chun contribute to the people of Canton, I said, our ancestor fight following Li Man Mao, died, sacrificed himself in that uprising of the Red Boat. Mm -hmm. So he said, are you serious, Hendrik? At that point, I show him a salutation. At that time, he said, oh, I don't know this. We here in Fatsan don't know about this. 
So it turns out that what they know is what is after 1870 or 1880, 1880 to be to be more safe, 18, 1880, 1890. Mm -hmm. So the anti Qing movement happened 1850. Now, to give you a, a history background, the anti Qing, what is the real anti Qing? So you ask me, so what the heck is get, that got to do with salutation? Well, let me give you this first, okay? The real anti Qing, there is no five ancestor from Shaolin. Mm -hmm. Yes, there's five ancestor. The real anti Qing is the heaven and earth associations. Mm -hmm. And a part of it is called Hong Moon. They are the, the member at that time who is anti Qing. At 1850, that is a massive anti Qing movement, uprising. Of course, the anti Qing laws. So a lot of anti Qing members, if they are not died, if they are not fled into the villager in, in, in China, they fled out to the world. So where can you find the proof of that thing? Go to San Francisco, Chinese Freemasons Associations. San Francisco's association start, if I'm not wrong, 1540s, prior to that uprising. Now let's talk about the anti-Qing. If you are a real anti-Qing, there is a tradition that you need to show your Gua Pai hanging badge in translations to English, Gua Pai. So what is Gua Pai? Gua Pai is you show a gesture and you speak a, a, a poem to show your, uh, your identity in the sect. Now you know this Gua Pai. Mm -hmm. Now let's get, get back to Wing Chun 1850. At 1850, remember prior to the, uh, remember the uprising, the Red Bull uprising? The Fine Jade, the Fine Jade Associations is the headquarter of all this anti Qing, heavenly, heaven, earth uh, uh, association. Who is there? Choi Lei Fat. Hong Seng Choi Lei Fat is there. Li Man Mao's group, the opera people. So Wing Chun is a, a part of the, 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 the anti Qing opera group because the opera group is pretty big. This is a mm -hmm. part. And Wing Chun is belong to the female or the male who play the female, female. part. Mm -hmm. And then there is a connection even up to Shanghai. Today, if you go to Shanghai, there is Yi Garden, the small knife associations at that time. They actually come together to, in Canton to set the date for the uprising with Li Man Mao from the, the opera, Hong Sing Choi Lei Fat. And at that time, the Taiping, the Taiping uh, Kingdom, Heavenly Kingdom, all were all they all is there waiting for that uprising. Now, the Gua Pai, the salutation, I show this historian and this Sifu is the Gua Pai of Wing Chun at that time. Choi Lei Fat have a Gua Pai, have a salutation, which is a Gua Pai. So salutation, uh, the, the, the Feng Sing Chai Lei Fat have their salutation and they always have, have these words of hero and five legs for C. Wing Chun have that too. Uh, can you please grant me a-, a I think a you have it. I think you can okay. share it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So this is, uh, this is me there at, uh, at uh, 2017, okay? So this is all our friend, all my teacher I learned, okay? Who they are all the leader from different style in Canton. So if you go to the San Francisco Freemason, they still have the document of Gua Pai, wow. okay? 
like this five five leg forces and the hero. Okay, those are the anti ching. If you are real anti ching, you have that secret code. Now, this is Hong Seng Choi Lei Fat salutations, and that is all this which involve five leg forces overturn the ching and then the hero. So so you, you scramble around that hero five uh, five leg forcey is always there. Okay, so this is the, the the one I share with our our friend in Canton. Now, Wing Chun is named as a female art, right? Mm -hmm. This is this is how the female in the in the Qing uh, Ming and Qing dynasty salute your wife salute you okay right this is the open salutations of 1850s wing chun mm. and then you do this salutation and you say the five leg forces overturn the qing stuff see the chai lei fat was the show different thing for the 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 identity so this is a female art and then this, so this is the open salutation and this is the closing salutations. It's called bong elbow, like bong bong sao. Mm -hmm. Short finger present to the hero. Hero is the Hong Moon. Okay, the 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 Tian Di Hui, the the Heaven Earth Kingdom. So the the if if they play the uh the male play male role, it will be like something like that or something like that. But if you use finger, that is male play female role. Mm. So when you show that thing, right away, people who know this Hong Moon and you say this words about the five leg forcey everything, they know who you are. That is how it, they don't have uh what's up today. They don't have uh, uh this uh, this line today, so they cannot check who you are. Hey, Mark, who you? Are. I said this real guy. So at that time is you do a salutations and uh, like this one is like, you, you know why this is opera person who play female, you do this. And then when you say that word, you say, okay, this is our person, our people. That is, that, that is for uh, 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 at that time for the, for the uh, uprising. Let me share with you one thing. Why do you, why do you think Wing Chun is named as Wing Chun? Well, in a movie, you say it's from Shaolin, it's a female Wing Chun, and blah, blah, blah. Well, let us solve this problem, uh, this question now. If we go to Shanghai, remember I talked about the small, uh, small knife associations, oh the, Yi, the, Yi, uh, the, the, the Yi, uh, Yi Garden of Shanghai, you can go today. There's a hall called in the uh, Mandarin, Tian Chun Tang. So if you translate it directly, it said that it is the like the uh, pr uh, uh, select the spring hall. Mm. Select spring hall. That hall was built in 1820. That is the head, the base of the Little Knife Society. Now, across the hall, is a stage for the Chinese opera. So, Dian Chun Tang select Spring Hall is the hall which is you sit in the hall, you select the actor and the play you like, which is going to play in that in that hall, mm -hmm. in that uh, in that stage. So, what is Chun mean? What is Spring mean? Spring is simple in actor and play. Wing Chun, if you if you if you use this definitions of what Chun mean at that time, 1850, it means opera. Wing Chun is the martial of those who sing the opera, the martial of the actor. Now I'm going to share something with you. Now, before that, I want to tell you this. Like uh, we are in Silicon Valley, every time uh, in the corporate, we always have to change. Okay, it's called continuous change. Okay, right. or the improvement. 
when you hit that every a few years you have that they always have four phases of change one is in denial okay people don't like it the second is people get angry okay against it the third is people start to see the light the fourth is people go along with it so what i'm going to show you next i know you're going to get into denial i'm go i know you're going to going to get into angry but this is his story what happened is 1850 when the uprising is lost people flee out people die you can read about his story even lee man mao himself sacrificed the cantonese opera was banned Pinghua Hui Kun was shut down completely. Some say it was burned down, but uh, the historians say, you know, it is not burned down, but it is, it is, it is closed down. It's shut down by the, the Qing army. And you know how brutal at that time? The Qing is really, really violent. They, at that time, will execute anybody who they accuse Ling with the uprising. And uh, if you read his story, it is as bad as at first, if you beheaded somebody, you take the head to collect money. At the end, they, they, because they, they run out or even basket, guess what? They cut off the ear, take the ear to, to take the, the, what, the, the money from the, the, the government. So the, the, the Qing soldier doing that. So the Cantonese opera, the Red Boat, the Red Boat, was banned about 10 years and uh, and uh, uh, mid-1860 you need to know that we all need to make a living right all those opera actors need to make a living so guess what they have friend and negotiate with the Qing mm. they start a new opera group and that is pro-Qing opera group at that Pro Qing Opera Group, at that time, the name you want to know is Tai Fa Ming Gam. Tai Fa Ming Gam student, Hong Xiu Cheng, is working for the, the, the official who is fighting Fine Jade Association's Wing Chun ancestor, the boss of it, Zhen Guo Fan's site. So Hong Xiu Cheng is belong to Zhen Guo Fan's group. Another student of uh, Tai Fa Ming Kam is the Law Law Ti Yun. Law Law Ti Yun is so is is the classmate of Feng Xiu Cheng. Law Ti Yun is a official of Qing, of the Qing, alleged official of Qing, and he was sent to Japan to study. Mm -hmm. Now he, at eighteen ninety, he have wrote down a secret note called Snake Crane's Wing Chun secret note. So we know from that, these are two red boat now. One is the anti-Qing, they lost their fleet. One is they stay there because everybody have to put bread and butter in their, in, in their, in their, in their table, okay? So this group of pro-Qing and the, uh, the anti-Qing, they are different. And there are two documents in, in Wing Chun today, historically. In terms of technical, one is the 1850s, the Xiu Lim Tao writing, or the essence of detailed training writing. One is the snake crane. Mm. If you look into both writing in the 1850s writing, it will have short finger, bone elbow, Present to the hero. You know who they are, okay? If you look at the snake crane riding, if you look at the snake crane riding, you say, love your country. Do not teach the foreigner or the Westerner. Okay? So this is the mentality of 1870s when they fought the, uh, the, 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 the boxer librarian where they hit the, 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 the Westerner. So at, at the, the climax have changed. Overturn the Qing, return me my country of the Ming, okay? At 1880s or 1870s, at, uh, at this red boat time is, love my country, uh, meaning that you, 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 you love the Qing, 
at that time your country is Qing, right? And then uh, you are not teaching the, uh, the, the, the Westerner, right? And not to be a Hong Moon. So we know that, okay, because uh, we have the document. Even in Yip Man Wing Chun's uh, passing down from Liang Zhan, the, said the Wing Chun's ancestors' teaching is said, love your country. Even today, you say the Liang Zhan teaching, it is actually using the term Xiu Lim Tao, little idea. So we know today's Wing Chun is actually belongs to the Pro Qing Red Boat. It is not the anti Qing Red Boat. So in today's Wing Chun, you never see a salutation like Chai Lei Fa, like those real anti Qing. You don't mm -hmm. have that Gua Pai. The technical, the 1850s Wing Chun, all these Li Man Mao people, their martial arts is from Ming Dynasty military. Right. At that time, Shaolin <coughs> is belong to <coughs> the Ming military because Shaolin Mang is corporate with the Ming Dynasty army, General Chi Chi Guang's people, fighting the Japanese pirate. So Wing Chun belong to this anti Qing, and the anti Qing have their technology. And when the uh, the Shaolin short strike technology get to the red boat, it mix up with. So let me share with you, the technology of Chi Chi Guang is not like today's technology. The fighting at that time is this dynamically playing the momentum game with distance, angle, and level changing. Okay. So it is keeping changing like this because it's using this to fighting the Japanese pirate. And Japanese pirates have Japanese warrior where with the weapon, they are using samurai sword. When they get close, what they do? Jiu-jitsu. So at that time, Chi Chi Guang uh, reorganized that thing. So at that time, the Chinese uh, uh, martial have the long fist. So this type of thing is long fist. Like you can see the Chai Le Fat and, and, and Pa Apikua and everything. So this is belong to the short strike. Mm -hmm. And this is ground fighting like the, the dog. And uh, Mark, you are from Ngocho. I know you recognize a lot yeah. of these things. So this is the traditional Chinese martial art, the authentic thing, which is from the Ming Dynasty down. So at that time, I cannot bullshit you because... Like this is in the general Chi Chi Guang. You say, well, this is Bong Sao or mm -hmm. Fan Sao, right? Yeah. This is the riding. And how are you going to do this? It's not playing hand techniques. It is right there where you enter, you are changing with, uh, with, uh, with elbow strike, face strike going out and different angle, different thing. So mm -hmm. this is the Chi Chi Guang technology. And the Wing Chun is actually belong to this short strike, even though it have everything, but it belong to this short strike. Right. Okay. Now, so this is the, the writing of the Shaolin short strike. This is how close it is. So it's called the sticking body short strike, meaning your body stick at his body. So this is from frontal. This is from the side. This is from behind. So it show you a 360 degree drawing and this is your plum flower footwork. This is your triangle footwork. And over here, it is telling you about the handling of physiology. And one other thing I want to call your attention is this. In today's movie, it is said that Wing Chun's slogan is hatred. Sorry, the Shaolin say here, Wu Chou Wei Liang, you must not have hatred. So it's exactly opposite from what the real teaching, because in this teaching, meaning you don't want to get emotional. You right. Get emotional. So this is Shaolin Sword Strike. Okay. So this is Chi Chi Guang to Shaolin Sword Strike. So again, the Shaolin Sword Strike, the reason it called Kip San Twin Ta or Sticking Body Sword Strike or My San Sword Strike is because it has four hands, four arms. The leg is attacking. The body is leaning him, attacking, take out his center line. The leg is actually want to take the, your, your entire center line away. And then mm -hmm. you have two hands to, 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 to strike him. So Wing Chun is a four, 1850s Wing Chun is a four-arm art. Think about it like today's BJJ. Right. 
you get close, the body lean at you, the leg actually jam the heck out of you, and then the, the, the hand just grab you and, and take you out. Okay, so that is the Shaolin, and it at the Ermei. Why is Ermei? Because at that time, people thought that they can improve the handling of this, this uh, Shaolin art by injecting the technology of handling the the uh, the, the chi and meridian. Mm. So it's an upgrade. And then it has some Fujian techniques there because Mashat is actually keeping evil evil. In fact, General Chi Chi Guang said, what you don't know is going to get you. So this is the plum flower and this is the zigzag, a triangle and those kind of stuff. Now, that's 1850. 1870, guess what? When they create the four set in the 1870, they took partial of 1850. They don't have the full picture. Mm. They say like the saying, fish issue from heart. They took the partial. Now, the fifth issue from heart is like just now I share, I share with you that 360 degree, meaning that I'm going to issue the attack keeping facing you. Right. Wherever the heart is facing. Yeah, but it is not like today you're facing a line, those kind of stuff. So they took that, face, like uh, for example, the uh, fish issue by heart and then in the 1870, they create this four sets. Now, at that time, they mix it with Shaolin Wang Chun's techniques. Shaolin Wang Chun is from a temple called Flying Here Temple, Hui, uh, Fei Lai Qi. This is a real thing in Canton, the Shaolin Wang Chun. Mm. Okay? Now, so they took technology from the Shaolin Wang Chun, they fuse it, they make the Wing Chun at that time, and Liang Zhan and Tai Fa Ming Gam all is belong to this group. And uh, in today, I was actually uh, having a chance to, to meet the nice, uh, very nice guy, our, our friend in, in Wing Chun, uh, in Shaolin Wang Chun, to exchange the idea. Instead of fighting that, uh, like, you know, Grandmaster Yip Man wrote uh, in his last article, said Wing Chun is not Wang Chun. We know that Wang Chun is a close body art, not a sticking body art. This is the range of fighting of Wing Chun, 1850. Mm. And of course, what it come with is the wooden dummy. So you know that Feng Xiu Cheng is, uh, is also teach this type of a dummy in the Red Boat. You know, all, all this thing is historical, you know, it's writing. And we can check with our Shaolin Wang Chun friends, okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so, so again, I say there's no, there is no enemy here. We sort it out, whatever it is using anybody's, we, we give them the credits, okay? If you look at the dummy, like today's Wing Chun dummy, you know that this is have a distance with, because of the hand, you cannot practice this type of art, the four art, like you practice BJJ with the Wing Chun Dami, you cannot practice that. Right. And you cannot go 360 degree with it, with your, uh, with your uh, plum flower footwork, because like this, this is the plum flower footwork, and this is how, like this is you, your front leg, your back leg, you can go in and then you can crush talk completely your, your opponent, go from the middle. Okay, this is uh, get under his thigh, crush his crotch, and the entire body go. Okay, so today's Wing Chun, actually there's uh, many things start from even Grandmaster Yip Man time, Yun Kui San's time, is already like that. One other thing is in the 1850s, you have the duck under. Like if you look at the BJJ, take down, have to duck under. If you look at the four set, there is no duck under there. But if you look at the the the, the shielding power of the of the eighteen fifty, there is a duck under. Hmm. Okay. So, so, so the bowing to Buddha in the BOG is not a duck under. You couldn't consider that duck under. No, that, that, there's no under under. Duck under meaning you. Okay. I understand me, grappling me, duck under. Yeah. Uh, no, no. Uh, let me let me let me share with you this. This is very important. The body never. Oh, I see. 
stay in a, a, a static position. It never stay in a static position. Like right, right away from here, you see the body change. From here, it cannot get him. This pull back right away, follow you up with the with the elbow. Yeah. And then he try to do anything, he just change his position, doing with a slap front and then doing left and right. So it's continue, uh, continue changing. So you can do the the thing and and the most closer thing, which is like the duck under, is in the cham kyu set when they do the walking bong sao. Yeah, walking bong, right? Right, walking bong sao, right? Mm -hmm. The the 1850 is going duck under right away, going like like a a a, a single leg takedown. Yeah, yeah. Going down, but uh, if you like, you see today's Wing Chun, all the four sets Wing Chun, the the the, the cham kyu always doing the 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 double pong, right? So you can see that somebody when they design that four sets, they they they, they probably see something, but they are not sure what it is. But you have to go close, like you look at it like a BJJ going to take the single leg take now, okay? Or the uh, rest string, okay? So if you look at today's Wing Chun, since 1870, the lower part is actually white. Right. Another thing is this. You have an unmovable elbow. The unmovable hand, this hand is good for this, good for this, good for this. But whatever under your under un a movable elbow or under your solar plexus. When people duck under, you cannot play with your hand with this palm facing ground. You have to turn to the, uh, the, 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 the palm, the face of the palm turning up. So you will be like that. Like you see, like you, you're lifting weight like this. Mm -hmm. You cannot weave late. Right? You lift weight like that. So you're grappling. You, you're struggling here. Right. You look at all this thing. Right? So if you look at today's four set, there is no techniques down there for that lower part. So, so right away, if we use the analysis of, you see, you see what is the pro and cons for that thing. And also, you can see that it's like today's, it is a straight line. Another thing issue is your, your, your body weight is behind. If you look at Chi Chi Guang, it's all body weight in, uh, uh, in front, not mm -hmm. back. Because body, body, body weight behind have two issues. One, you don't have enough enough momentum because momentum is your body multiplied by your speed to, to crush your opponent. Like you want to take down what well, crush the hell out of him, use your body. Like uh, over here, you see when you get in, the first thing is, okay, if you go from sideways, your knee is going to hammer his knee and then your body crush in. That is enough to, 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 to actually really do very damage to his momentum so he cannot change. And then your two hand, you strike him you, you finish him. And if you miss that, then you change. That is where it comes with all this thing. You see this footwork? If I attacking my opponent in this angle, I can change it this angle and attacking him. Now, mm -hmm. and when I come in, I can use my back leg, step forward, and my front leg right away cross in. When you go in here, it's, it's target at your knees. Say, if you are fighting somebody, somebody like uh, Western boxing, his hand is like this. So who is, what is very close to you? His knee. So a short strike at the first thing you go, you, you, you ambush his knee. He's going to move away. When he move away, you go in like a snake slides in right away your body, your, your, your shoulder slam in him. And it's that close already. That means you, you actually... Like a like a like a like a car, it shoot your 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 engine away. Then it it, it you alive with the strike. And the entire uh uh Lim Tao do not have a sun punch. It's Buji in eighteen fifty. You mean? Yeah. Yeah. Eighteen fifty. Yeah. It's Buji. It's Buji. And uh and Palm, and the most they use is this. Hmm. Why is this? Because if I do a, a sun punch, this is tensing. Right. If I do this, I, I, this is only the, 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 the disadvantage of this is only it is about two inch or one and a half inch shorter than Buji. But it is very agile. You just pull right. in, I can turn into Pak Sao, into Fok Sao. Okay. So it is all this, all this thing is go all over the place. That is how it's used. So 1850 is, is this. 
And again, because I'm Buddhist, I don't want to create bad karma. Uh, the the control, okay? Don't you don't, don't use it. Like before, oh yeah, you know, talk with your hand, not talk with your mouth. It's not worth it, okay? Right. Don't think friends, don't 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 think. Right. So it is going close. You go in. So even if you wrap your body, this is what it is. It never grabs your hand, and you always put your hand here, not here. It is in the drawing of the Shaolin, like my book, Resurrecting Wing Chun. It is Shaolin. It is like this. Okay? So this is like that. And you, when you hit like this, you can hit like this, you can hit like this. So this is how good it is, how agile it is. Okay? So that is the, the, the hand techniques part. So this is talking about hand techniques and your body momentum and so forth is very different than today's or the since 18, 1870s, the new design of the approaching red boat. Now, there's another part of it. We know that Shaolin Wang Chun is a sister art, but it's not Wing Chun. Grandmaster Yip Man is right. We need to respect that. However, at that time, Grandmaster Yip Man do not have all this data to show you. Like we can track into general Chi Chi Guang and everything into the details, right? And that's why I, I was uh, uh, having a good conversation with our Shaolin uh, Wang Chun Sifu. And uh, he was bringing the six point half pole back to this temple mm -hmm. in, in China, right? So, so now we sort it out that, you know, what, what is what, okay? So because there is no, uh, no Man Sao, you don't want to have the Man Sao out there because whatever your arm out there, again, this is a Shaolin short strike riding in riding, right. okay? Whatever your hand out there, if it is not continuous striking, that means you give your opponent a handle. However, up to now, how do you breathe? And you are in no job. <laughs> how do you handle your intra-abdominal pressure? Right. You're in a no job. You know that. You need that part. Right. So, so why is it important? Well, Mark can tell you. You need the intra-abdominal pressure to solidify your core and also you will take blow. Yes. Nobody will not be, not, nobody is so perfect that they don't take blow. You exchange blow. So that is the part of the internal in 1850, which we know. And so today I have already mapped it, uh, modeled it out and mapped it, map, map it. It actually, the first type of training is the chi nourishing training. The second is fitness. The third is strengthening training. So in today's term, in today's sport time term, the first, this training is for recovery. And then for this is to build out your aerobic base. Mm. For this is you go extreme. Okay. So there's fighting level one is accelerate in post momentum handling really fast and then the uh, level two is the full accelerated impulse momentum meaning that when you fight you go for your extreme power now so you have a uh, three type of training right now let's get into the reality say say we're going to go to a tournament okay i will arrive about two hours earlier what i'm going to do i'm going to go down there in that uh, in that place for the for the tournament, I'm going to in my in my in my locker room. I am going to get into the deep recovery or deep rest state, the nojo chi state, to boot up my energy. Maybe for forty five minutes, wake up. I'm going to do a warm up from the fitness training to the very fast the, the strengthening training, and then ramp down. And then I'm waiting to get called into the, 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 the tournament, the ring. Mm -hmm. When I'm in the ring, there are two things there in the ring. We need to watch out. When we are in the distance of no contact, everything is natural. We breathe by natural. If my body needs the, 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 the breathing, I breathe and so forth. And at that time, your heart rate, zone 4 heart rate, like the 80-90% of heart rate because you, know, you are in accelerating thing. However, once you get into the contact zone, your body nature, you ignore your body nature. 
you need to use it. You need to, <clears throat> because it's performance is more important. So at that context, say if I have, I have a breath, I can handle five, five action and I still live 20%, I might take two blow and I might strike three times and mm -hmm. I still have 20%, I can move out. That is the entire thing is not natural at all. And in fact, it's damaging. And that heart rate is going skyrocket like hell. You can only go this much time or else, you know. Well, you're in fight or flight. I mean, you're either going to shut down or. Yes. I mean, right. You're going to wear is, out your energy. So after the fight, what happened? Going home. See, full mark. Check me. I might get any heat or any internal energy. <laughs> I need to uh, uh, eat my uh, 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 tin chat or tita. <laughs> okay. I go home. What do I do? I have to go into the recovery stage. The next morning, I wake up. Oh, shit. Yesterday, I was punched in the chest. Oh, man, it just feels so like hell. Then I have to go nurture chi and then get my the fitness one, the stretching and all the stuff. So... You see the entire thing? This is for your your your, your chi. I just you know uh, the, the, the Hendrick the for the people stuff. for the people who are listening to the podcast and not seeing it on YouTube, I know this this um model that you made is in one of your books. Which one is that? Decoding Wing Chun. Okay, decoding wing chun. So I'll make sure I put the links for all of your books in the show notes. And so the people who are listening on Pandora or Audible can go to the YouTube or in the show notes to find these charts. Okay, thank you. And I want to share with you, in new, uh, uh, Qi Neurosing, Qi Gong, yes. at this for health, the breathing here is called subtle breathing, meaning that you, you went there, your breathing is so light, so fine that uh, almost like you feel that you are not breathing, like people in the meditative state. Right. That type of breathing. On here, the fitness is like common breathing, like you're walking, but you are not uh, tired. You don't hear your breathing that much. So this common breathing. At this strengthening training type, it is called windy breathing. Can go Mark Wiley's uh, Noto performance <laughs> uh, a demo in the sets. You can see how the you have to, you, you make the noise in your breathing, mm -hmm. okay? So, so, so in the fight, it is, uh, you, you change between this accelerated and full accelerated. When you charge in, you full accelerated. When you move out, you go accelerated. If you, you know, so that is, is fly and fly. So it, you need to be able to train that. So that's why we need to know our, endurance they say this is the maximum of my heart rate so okay uh, let me share with you one thing see this zone five this heart rate zone mm -hmm. this zone five this zone four zone four this is zone five this is go exceeded okay so in fighting okay this is me before i retire last year now i cannot do it anymore too old i can do a 6.41 minutes to stay in this zone mm. and over here on the zone four, the accelerator, I can do eight minutes, but I cannot continue on this for six minutes. Don't, don't, uh, don't, don't kid yourself. In a fight, you right. will have all kinds of stress. You can you take blow. You take one blow, it probably cut uh, 6.41 minutes to three minutes. Today, because of I model this and all the training in the scientific way, like in the uh, decoding Wing Chun book, we know, you know how good is our training. Now, uh, if you don't, if we don't have a uh, proper fitness training, it is uh, in today's term is called uh, aerobic deficiency syndrome. Over here, it will cause problem. It will cause free radical. Long term in here is killing us. So we need to have the training of uh, the 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 nurture chi training, where you can drop your heart rate. This is the breathing rate. You know, once you get in, like this is the average of uh, uh, eight breaths per minute. <clears throat> you get inside there. And then this is the heart rate variability. Once you mm -hmm. go to a chi, your heart rate variability go high. Or, or after you rest, your heart rate variability will go high. That means that you have enough, you, you have 
enough rep. So after we go to the, 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 the tournament the next day, and then we exercise, the next thing we, we, we check our heart rate variability. Oh, it's not, it's not high yet, it's low. You know their body is not ready. Right. Still low, uh, overload. And then maybe a week later, <clears throat> your heart rate variability, when you wake up, you go back to whenever before. After your recovery, yeah. After your recovery. So you have the recovery. So, <clears throat> so that is how it is. And that is a fit to today's sport science. The today's sport science, that way you relax. But in the ancient Chinese, like the 1850s Wing Chun, there is a way. It is actually the Buddhist way. Mm. To, <clears throat> the Buddhist man using the Buddhist meditation to, <clears throat> to, to recover yourself. And <clears throat> scientifically, we can verify whether you sing qi. This is for, if you can sing qi to Tan Tian, you see this amplitude of the breathing. I just tie a, a monitor here. Uh, if I can sing qi to Tan Is that Tian, a heart rate the, monitor? Okay. The breathing monitor. Breathing, how, how big is the amplitude of your breathing? Okay. Okay, how, how, how big is the amplitude of breathing and also your intra-abdominal pressure? Mm. Now, if you cannot sing qi to Tan Tian, Okay, uh, you see the breathing is really shallow. This is like the chest breathing. I see. Mm -hmm. so if you have a wrong, uh, uh, improper stance, you'll get into this. If you have proper stance, you can activate this. And you see that when you have a uh, really shallow breathing, your breathing rate is faster. And you have a long, deep breathing, you're, you, can, you can have uh, the, 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 the slower uh, breathing rate. Okay? And... Uh, so that is how you, you know the training of breathing, the training of your, 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 your body conditioning. So, you know, I, that's why I have all this gadget like that. Like, like Let me interject a, a thing here. Oh, so please, that, please ask. Please ask yeah. yeah, that you had showed me before. Uh, you said, stand in Yiji Kim Yong Ma, right? The, the Wing Chun's basic stance from Si Lung Tao and yeah. tilt your pelvis, right? And try to breathe. And yeah. then do it without the tilt and try to breathe. And that proves your two charts there. What is yeah, proper, I mean, not proper just based on just based on the anato anatomical posture. It, it is. Uh, uh, one thing is that right now we don't have to argue. We just have to wrap right. this uh, wrap, wrap this uh, this om, om track inside your body and right. whether you can do it or you'll not do it. Either your EG come your mind is proper or not, you know. Right. Okay. So, so in so, 1850s so it, Wing Chun, did they have the tucked pelvis with the, with the no. Yiji Kim or no? No, because if you truck that thing, it, you it can't becomes breathe. your breathing is right. in your chest. And then even worse is that you, uh, your, your intra-abdominal pressure, you, 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 because your, your breathing is not, is not it's heavy. Not yeah. Your, 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 your pelvic floor, your pelvic floor, Right. And your, uh, let me sh uh, share with you one thing. What about lifting the perineum? Are you doing that? Uh, you, raising you, and holding? You don't, want, you, you don't want to do that. Okay, one second. Uh, I don't know why it's freezing. Because okay, that stunts second. the breathing as well. It puts yeah, stress I, I, on I, the breathing. Yeah, I, 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 better, I better show everybody here because it is not. For all the listeners, okay, yeah. you're missing all the secrets here on the screen. So you have to go to okay. YouTube and watch. Yeah, okay. A proper breathing, which is a breathing to the Tan Tian, is that your pelvic floor muscle and your diaphragm is working in synchronization. Mm. Uh, a modern term is called the piston. So, so when you exhale, your pelvic floor muscle going up and your diaphragm going upward when you exhale. When you inhale, your diaphragm going downward and your pelvic floor going downward. So you see, you have the big chunk of a, uh, of a movement there, right. provided you have to have your perineum and your spine and everything proper. And when you do that, your breathing actually is a three hundred sixty degree. It is like expand it goes out the back as well. Yeah. 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 Okay. Now, what we don't want to get into is this, and which is everybody do today. You see. Yep. In using pressing uh, like uh, oh yeah you, you just contract your lower abs you yeah uh, you you tilt up your your tailbone uh, whatever your spine power and you end up that you are not using this uh, the 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 pelvis floor synchronized with your 
with, with your diaphragm anymore. That you're going to cause hernia or pressure in your thoracic cavity and so forth. So if the problem is in the, in the uh, stomach, you're going to cause hernia. If the problem is up in the chest, you're going to cause thoracic problem. And mm -hmm. it is that that is going to cause your heart problem uh, going to functions abnormal or hybrid pressure. Uh, like so that people who practice Sanjin wrongly, they squeeze it wrongly, they're going to, they're going to cause that pressure and long term uh, tear and wear, they're going to destroy, you know, again, the lower abs is going to be a hernia. Like in you know, a wave lifter, you see, you know, when, when they use wrong a uh, uh, wrong way of using strength. Yeah. And uh, over here, it is a uh, heart issue. That's why you can see that even uh, people who practice karate, oh, oh, master died of the heart or the stroke. Mm -hmm. That so that is about this uh, breathing and intra abdominal pressure. So in 1850, yeah, for the 1850, you want to go this way. This is what it said. The the definitions of natural. You need to be natural. Natural meaning this way. So anybody who practice any qigong, the first thing is this alignment has to be proper. Right. If you run into just now that improper, you're going to cause problem for your health and long term. And not to mention that you don't have handling on the real thing. So like today, people talk about tilting your, your, your tailbone, your spine power. Forget about it. This thing... You, you have pelvic floor and diaphragm, uh, the, 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 the intra-abdominal pressure. That is to protect your, your spine because over here, there's no muscle. So right. if you don't have that to protect your spine, so you see that pressure down, pressure up, and left-right pressure, this is your, your spine. If you don't have that, like you put a can, uh, you, you put a, your, your spine within the can of Coke, Right. Okay, an open coke so that the, the, the pressure that you got against by your coca-cola's can if you mm -hmm. don't do that you, you got a problem the, this is a very difficult word for me to say it's, you know because you your four sets your four sets do not have that training right Th that's that's why i say remember the buddha said hendrik is not hendrik hendrik uh, that's why it's called hendrik we need to proceed further we, we yeah. cannot say this is ultimate. Even the 1850s, I checked the hell out of everything with, uh, with all this thing. The, that's why I do all the verifications because this, this is the, the most fair way for every one of us. I am not a grandmaster, but this is what based on science, we can do it. We can track it. And again, we talk about farging and everything. Uh, we can use this force tracker. To, to right. Do this so you're, you you basically are saying that if we use modern sports sports medicine sports training devices, we can track the art into today if it if we're doing it properly. And one thing is that sports science and sports training, even from the early days of basketball, baseball, football, swimming, track, wrestling, has like skyrocketed the performance of those sports. But martial artists traditional martial artists stay away from that and they're still lifting stones and you know doing old training and they're they haven't really adopted those modern sports training uh and now we're starting to and i think most traditional martial artists were getting beaten in the ufc and all because they didn't have the body training the strength training they're not hitting heavy bags they didn't have the wind they're not used to the pressure the handling you know um, and now we're getting better at it because people are doing more and more. And and your whole goal is map this sh shit into sports science and let's improve the hell out of the art so it can last. It's not even fighting first. The first thing is to protect your health. health. For me, who said that hero is not ordinary soul? Wing Chun or Ngo Zhao or any martial arts, it is can stay up there is because of ordinary people practice right. it properly, support it properly. It's not some superstar. Sure. Because of us, and you can think about it, if us, the ordinary soul, do not have a healthy body and it creates damage to us, how can we work with the today's medical cost? And only if we have this, so all I map, all the training, 
like just now, uh, Mark, when you talk about the easy come, you know, standing and say, okay, you just measure it up. So don't need to argue, you know, I mean, come on, it's the medical science and right. uh, whether you, you have the breathing handling properly and, uh, and, and you can measure it and you can check your heart rate and everything. And only if you have that, you go for the strengthening training, you, you have less risk compared with we have no preparation at all and, and just throw you down to the water. Okay? Can I back so, up so, for a, a little please. synopsis? So, 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 so please, please. Because please. Um, we have General Chi Ji Guan era. We have the guys fighting the Japanese pirates. They have their technologies. Then we have, you know, we have Shaolin, so to speak. Yeah. Canton martial arts Wing Chun now. So there's some technology there in 1850 based on all those things from behind that we mentioned, right? Yes. And yes. as it moves, or May 12 Jungs come in, White Crane influences, right? And then later yeah. Wang Chun, there's some influence, yes. right? And then what's between the Wang Chun and, uh, and Ip Man? Let me make it clear. No, but I'm not against anybody. It's just his story. We need to solve this problem. Right. Between, between 1850 and 1870, the design of the four sets, you lost a huge, huge part of the thing. You probably at least lost 90% of the thing. And when you're saying then, four sets, you mean three sets and dummy? Yes. Okay. Okay. So... So you already lost about 90% because you, 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 you see you get all the hand techniques and your distance, right. you, don't, you don't have forehand anymore. Right. That's why you cannot handle BJJ. When you get right. close, you're over, okay? Right. Now, so, so, so the breathing and everything is, is gone. You, your, your, your three Wing Chun set today, disregard of how we want to promote it, which grandmaster, it really doesn't have the content. We just talk about the breathing and, and all, and, and the intra-abdominal pressure so far okay now post 1870 then uh, uh, uh many thing is adding uh, from the uh, shaolin wang chun okay with a partial of what they know on the 1850 to make something called wang, wing chun the the three sets the four sets okay right. now after that if you look at that in the early 1900 yin kai san is using the snake crane riding content Mm. His son's teacher is Feng Xiu Cheng. He tr he tried to uh to to uh to heal the art to fix the art. At that time, people know that at least I I I in my understanding, the reason why Yin Kei San took the uh, snake crane riding and so forth. Okay, and uh, you can check uh, in like the Sang Nam uh, 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 riding there. They actually have the snake cranes riding there. So right. they're using that and they are, they are from the Feng Xiu Cheng line. Okay, now, and uh, Yip Man actually is taking that type of technology with the uh, Yin Kei San. So you say, well, where's Liang Zhan? Liang Zhan is using Xiu Lin Tao, similar like, like, uh, like, the, like the snake crane Wing Chun. Okay, like the saying, Buji not go out uh, from the room. That is a read writing in the uh, snake crane. Uh, writing and that writing a lot of thing when write that thing in uh, 18 1890 and that's prior or you no know, when when uh, when Yip Man is a few to a few year old probably okay so all the Leong Zhan stuff until today like in Gulo and so forth if you look in the YouTube and everything is actually a later evolution based on Yin Kei San's evolution hmm. okay and then when you get to Hong Kong, you can see, of course, you can in the, in the YouTube, you can see all this quarrel with Wing Chun, is Wang Chun and everything. That's how it ended up today. From 19, 1996, that first uh, UFC fight, that, as well as I say, that when people duck under your EG Kam Yong Ma, you don't have that techniques on that. You right. always have had that. You cannot handle that. But that is not fixed until Si Xiao Tong, until today, also your weight is at your back. Today, is everybody doing Wing Chun, your back weight. Technically, technically, it doesn't have any real content like Kyokushin. Every three, four years, at when Mas Omiya Yama was here, changing the way how fighting, the, the right. momentum of the fighting. BJJ doing that too. If you look at their evolution, Rickson uh, Gracia, which is, I respect a lot, 
you look at how he talked about breathing and all this, how he handling and how he handled the, the choke and all this changing, how they are doing, not doing a lot of throw, but they're doing a lot of takedown. All this technical evolution, you need a lot of people to keeping drill with it, keeping spa, keeping spa, and then people will find out the way, but you have to have the base. So in the Yip Man, you can see that Sir Yip Man saying that, oh yeah, you know, uh, uh, Wing Chun is about uh, receiving. But you look at all everybody's uh, Wing Chun today, how many people uh, in the writing, Grandmaster Yip Man saying that uh, Han Pong folk is receiving, but how many people is receiving instead of how forward pressure, forward pressure. Is that the right. teaching of uh, Grandmaster Yip Man? Now there's a question there. So everybody have their own version, but but where is this come from? And then you go to the Moody and he said, Wing Chun is based on the slogans of hatred, right? Tai Ga Chai, the Portugal son say that. So you see that since uh, early 1900, Yin Kei San uh, tried to fix it. Yin Kei San is a very respectable person. He's a lawyer and uh, he study. Hopefully that you can see the full picture now. And it is going to go nowhere because you cannot fix the 19. 1996, you know, the, 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 the first UFC. And right. after that, you see a lot of our friends, uh, Wing Chun friends, who continue to, to, to be being, to being taken down that way. And then uh, with the Xi Xiaodong 2017, nobody say a word and saying that, oh, that is not authentic Wing Chun. Well, please don't. If we are brother and sister, I just hope that our brother and sister, the young people, I can name a lot of good young seafoods today in Wing Chun. Mm -hmm. But they end up going to learn PJJ, learn Western boxing. So they put a, a slogan, a, 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 a label, Wing Chun, when they fight, you know. The BJJ friend know that they're using BJJ. The Western right. boxing friends know that they, I mean, come, come on. All these good people, if we give them good, uh, a good base and ed education, like today I say it's a forearm art, okay? So, so you know, don't look on, down on ourselves. We always have to, 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 be, to be start from the base, solid base, uh, uh, caring for each other in the same style. Well, for sure, we can have fiction. We can have this agreement. But when, when something is not right, we have to be, be able to sit together saying, hey, man, uh, the Shaolin Wang Chun say that we are we, uh, we are them. Uh, are we serious? Then we can come up with a list. Yes, this is from Shaolin Wang Chun. But now we're going to do this way. We're going to bring back the uh, the sticking body so right? So so there's a lot of things, but we need to have we need to know ourselves because it is our. So I use the the term pride that you are Wing Chuner. So you you act like a Wing Chuner. You stand tall in uh, in Fat San. This friend asked me. So what does your Wing Chun do? And then you can see that in, in, in Hong Kong, they wrote books saying that it doesn't matter you call it Wang Chun or Wing Chun. You, just, you guys all just making money uh, using Bruce Lee. So uh, when, uh, when Grandmaster Yip Man said, oh yeah, you know, Wing Chun is from the Song San Shaolin. And he said, is that true? Like uh, the Shaolin is from Bodhidharma. So Shaolin Temple Kung Fu is from, uh, from India. Well, that is not acceptable. That's why I wrote an article to, to blow them away. Okay? Number one, in Chinese, it says, 人死为大, whoever passed away, uh, we have to respect. Grandmaster Yin Man already passed away. He got nothing to do with me, but he's the elderly. When he do things for Wing Chun, how many people stood up to say that Wing Chun is not Wing Chun? You can see the entire history, at least, Grandmaster Iman do that. If we yeah. don't support him, who the hell are we going to support him? And for this uh, Shaolin saying that our oh, Wing Chun is from the Southern Shaolin, uh, not uh, because uh, Grandmaster Iman said Wing Chun is from uh, Songsan Shaolin. So everybody questioned that, saying that oh, isn't it from the Southern Shaolin? Well, let me tell you today. The thing I show you just now, you know, the Shaolin thing, the drawing and everything, that man can be traced to Songsan Shaolin, a grave. Mm -hmm. Tang Hao, Tang Hao, the Chinese historian, martial historian, 100 years ago already traced that. So Grandmaster Yip Man is, is true. Even though Grandmaster Yip Man do not know everything, it is from Song San. As from the Southern Shaolin, five Southern ancestors, please go to uh, San Francisco, <laughs> Chinese Freemason. Mm. Look at what is the reality. 
Okay, so we, Wing Chun, at that uh, uprising, we are real deal. So that is what I am defending because the next generations, we need to give them the pride. The ancestor who had passed, like Grandmaster Iman, I don't know him, but we need to have people respect him. Next time you go to uh, go to uh, San, you go to uh, pray homage to 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 uh, Grandmaster Iman. That's good because if he's you are from his lineage, you, he's your sigong, you have to do that. However, you need to go to find it because that is the ancestor beyond Liang Zhan, beyond, beyond everybody. Okay, those are the real anti Qing, Liang Zhan and so forth. They are not the real anti Qing. So today I, I, I share with you this is what yeah. it is in the history, right? So the technology is there, everything is there. And the reason I wrote all this book, the first, I don't have a school, I don't intend to have a school. I wrote the book is because something in, in Silicon Valley, we have something called pattern. Wing Chun thing, I just present to you. I cannot have a pattern. It's not belong to Hendrik Santo. I don't own it. So I put it in ISBN. Here on, nobody can take it away because it is Wing Chun. Inside the book, all my book, there's no such thing as saying, showing you this is Grandmaster uh, Hendrik Santo or, or whatever. No. All is according to the Chinese history. So ISBN is a public pattern. All Wing Chun and uh, all martial lover can have it, but nobody ever can twist the entire thing anymore because it is under ISBN or copyright. And people can check that, hey, this book was published by this time. It's like a pattern. So I right. am safeguarding that thing. This is what I like to share with you. This is what it is. So as Buddha said, Wing Chun is not Wing Chun, thus is Wing Chun. What is the next chapter? What is the next volume? I can do only, I'm retired now. Yeah. Uh, I can only do this far. And you make sure to know that you take care of your health. So let me just ask before we wrap up here, how has martial arts training generally improved your life? Has, how has the transformation been for you over these five, six decades? Okay, first, the entire journey is like, uh, it's like if we go watch a movie, like a detective movie. Yes. At, 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 first, at first, we thought that this is a good guy, there's a bad guy. But at the end of the movie, we found out that there's no good guy, there's no bad guy. And that actually made me feel like uh, thinking about ordinary, ordinary is the is the is the key because as soon as we don't want to be ordinary no I, I, the, let me let me share with you this i was uh, i was graduate yeah my, my graduate in high school is uh, 1970 1977 at my graduate i'm the i'm the top first in my division on my high school and at that time my sifu gave me this this writing of 1980 and at that time, I, uh, for sure, you know, it's like you get something which is uh, you, are, you are top of the world. And, and then that, that thing start <clears throat> to, to, to create problem because I don't understand what is written there. That's where it going to this Buddhist mm -hmm. stuff. And then, and, and, and uh, because I'm a Kyokshin and I like sparring and uh, fighting and all this kind of thing, all this macho stuff. And then I met, uh, like last, last time I told you, met uh, uh, Venerable Xianhua, get screamed at and everything going down and then going to be, and then body is sick and everything. So the transformation is right now is that, oh, after 50 years, I just the beginning begin to see what is the reality as a human. But then as a, a, a Venerable Xianhua told me, he said, Hendrik, some days when you see it it's almost time you're leaving this world we all be like that i feel like that so for me is that that's what i feel and uh, i have making a lot of mistakes i screw a lot of things and uh you just have to take responsible and say yeah i screw it up okay and uh so 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 this is just human life and up to this point it's only how much can how much can i help so that you don't get into a problem with your health. My Kyokushin, Kyokushin's teacher passed away at 40-something. He, he, he used to go to Japan for the Kyokushin Open. 
Mm. He passed away 40 something, trained really hard. His kid is about seven years old. I I feel really hurt when, when he passed away. Because I look at him as somebody who, who is he's very good. He trained me, you know, very, very strict to me. But uh, you, you, you you sense like like your idol's gone. Right. My uh, Wing Chun teacher who is very good in short pan passed away uh, 59, 60, heart problem. I know he's gonna train the the, the inch power, all this kind of thing. After many, many things, I I, I question the meaning of martial arts. I question. I question. And so my Ali, you can see, right? Muhammad Ali. And so I, if I can sum it uh, uh, words, uh, uh, words, I say that all this Wing Chun stuff is, some, is just some monk trick me to be a Buddhist. Like I give you this, this top uh, wi- uh, uh, Wing Chun <laughs> scripture. Okay, and then the more you study, the more you study, the more you study, you say, oh, shit. Uh, I, I, then you become a Buddhist. <laughs> <laughs> so for me, it's like it, just, it just tricked me like a, a venerable uh, uh, Shen Hua said, are you sure you don't want to be a monk? Okay. So, so for me, it's like the entire Wing Chun is just a trap, a trap for me to walk in and then a trap when I walk up, I'm a Buddhist and you cannot do much else. So now it turned me into a Buddhist and there's a lot of things. It's very, very, you know, very broad thing. You know, it's not a single direction, single dimension anymore, right? So for me, for me right now, I only in into the state of, you know, the last thing I want to say is that I get into the state of uh, the, the the teaching of uh, Van Master Xianhua. The Buddhist is teaching four teachings. Number one, you want to be empathy. Empathy for people who are seeking the, the path but not, not get there yet. You want to support them, give them information. In other words, you want to be sympathy. Sympathy who, who, with those who have anger and hatred. You want to give them compassionate. Hope that they get up from the pain or burning from their hatred. The third one, you want to uh, be happy for other people, happy for those who have achieved their goals. The fourth one, you want to let go. Let go your own hatred, let go your own greed, let go your own ignorance, the four type of heart. So if you say there's a transformation, if you tell me this 50 years ago, I will never understand. I will never be able to comprehend what the heck is that. But yeah. in today, that is my target. I'm not there yet. My target, my direction to go. So the entire Wing Chun for me is a trap lead to those four type of heart of the Buddha. That's the entire story. And all of the work you've done and shared on the internet and with our viewers today shows the expression of that heart toward the art. And we thank you for it. Well, thank you. you no, know, uh, you know, I know I I I whine a lot in this here, but yeah. I I just want to tell everybody, and uh, thank you, Mark, for giving me the opportunity to tell this to the world, and uh, this is what it is. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, Hendrik, my friend. Thank you. I will see you again soon. Appreciate the time. This is the first nice time Chinese I wear jacket too. Chinese jacket. <laughs> Okay. I grew out of mine, so you know. <laughs> Talk to you soon. Thank you. Bye bye.